five weapons you'll see on a battlefield of the future influenced by Russia's war in Ukraine. The conflict in Ukraine is elevating new military technologies like drones, lasers and anti-radiation weapons. The war in Ukraine, like every war, has seen innovation and the rise of new weapon systems. This war has elevated drones, rockets and electronic warfare as new masters of the battlefield. Weapons like HIMARS rocket systems were primed and ready for the conflict. Still, there is a gaping hole that new weapons can fill. The Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 has demolished the expectations of military experts worldwide. Some staples of war like tanks, fighter jets and howitzers have proven surprisingly vulnerable over the course of the conflict, while rocket artillery, drones and anti-tank weapons have punched above their weight. Others like lasers that could protect cities and weapons that home in on radio signals are urgently needed but are yet to be developed. The life and death struggle between nations pushes participants to adopt new technologies to enable fresh tactics and strategies. Battlefield experience rapidly sorts out what works and what doesn't. The former rapidly adopted and the latter just as eagerly discarded. The invasion of Ukraine is no exception. Here are five weapons we'll be seeing a lot more of in the near future as a result. And before we start, subscribe to the channel and leave your like. This way you'll help combat Russian propaganda. Let's go on. Number 1. Defensive lasers. Russia's war has involved both quote-unquote dumb unguided weapons and quote-unquote smart precision guided weapons in the form of mortars, howitzers, multiple launch rocket systems and land attack cruise missiles. Russia expands up to 60,000 artillery shells and rockets a day, raining destruction down on both military and civilian targets. Moscow has used these weapons on both military and civilian targets and the latter is a clear war crime under international law. Historically, there has been little defense against artillery and aircraft bombs other than destroying the launch vehicles associated with them. In recent years, the US and countries such as Israel has focused on lasers as a means of protecting armies in the field. A laser, powered by a diesel generator, has virtually unlimited ammunition and can rapidly target and destroy multiple threats in seconds. Russia's cruel attacks against cities and other civilian targets have shown laser defenses also have a place protecting non-military targets. Number 2. Anti-radiation weapons One major advantage Russia had over Ukraine at the outset of the war was its edge in the field of electronic warfare. Russia has long prioritized the ability to broadcast powerful jamming signals capable of interfering with an adversary radars, GPS and battlefield communications. A recent report credited Russian electronic warfare capabilities and their ability to jam the Ukrainian military's communications as weakening the country's defenses. Russia also broadcasts its own radio signals which include air defense radars, wireless drone control signals and wireless military communications tying together the entire haphazard Russian military campaign. Ukraine would benefit from the ability to detect and attack Russian systems emitting strong electromagnetic signals. An anti-radiation missile arm capable of targeting and then destroying enemy radars, communications trucks, jamming vehicles and other emitters would be a very useful not only in allowing Ukraine forces to better coordinate, but also in rendering Russian forces deaf and blind. Unfortunately, while this capability is available at higher levels, most notably in the US Navy's aircraft launched AARGM anti-radiation missile, it's distinctly lacking at the ground level. Expect to see arms fielded by armies within 5 years. Number 3. Guided Rocket Artillery The latest star of this conflict is the American-provided High Mobility Rocket Artillery System or HIMARS. HIMARS consists of a reloadable rocket launch system mounted on a medium truck chassis. HIMARS can quickly travel to a firing position, unleash six precision-guided GMLRS rockets with a range of 43 miles or greater and retreat to avoid enemy counter-battery fire. HIMARS far outranges conventional tube artillery, including cannon artillery like the 2S-19 Msta self-propelled howitzer. Ukraine is currently using HIMARS for interdiction missiles, striking high-value Russian targets behind enemy lines to deprive frontline troops of supplies and artillery support. 
Traditional cannon battery just doesn't have the range to outstick enemy artillery and currently there are no weapons at least on the Russian side that can shoot down GMLRS rockets. Few countries outside of NATO have precision guided rockets but the success of HIMARS plus GMLRS means most countries will likely have them in a decade or less. Number 4. Small Battlefield Drones The Russo-Ukrainian war isn't the first war to use quadcopter drones for surveillance missions, but it will be the war best known for them. The Ukrainian army in particular has used small quadcopter drones often made for the civilian market to give ground troops the ability to check out their surroundings and target enemy forces while minimizing risks. These drones enable units as small as the platoon level, its 30 to 40 troops, to eliminate the element of surprise for any enemy force, particularly those operating armored vehicles. A small unobtrusive drone with modern digital optics and a secure data link can give even a small combat unit a commanding view of the battlefield and the ability to peer a mile or more behind enemy lines. The experience of small battlefield drones in Ukraine means that the NATO armies, China's People's Liberation Army, the Japanese Ground Self-Defense Force and the South Korean Army will all adopt them by 2030. I just want to thank Elon Musk for the Starlink system. Came in very handy today. Saved a lot of rises. Thank you, sir. Number 5. Satellite Internet According to the New York Times, Ukrainian helicopters flying dangerous missions to the city of Mariupol brought a supply of anti-tank weapons and one crucial non-weapon, a SpaceX Starlink satellite internet receiver. The receiver proved a lifeline to the military and civilian forces trapped in a besieged Azov-style steelworks. The receiver, connected directly to satellite above, allowed users to bypass war-damaged cell phone service and landline internet. A morale booster for civilians, it allowed Ukraine's government to tell the world about the siege and act as a backup for Ukrainian military communications. The US military faces a growing internet bandwidth problem, in large part due to its routing of as much secure military traffic through as few satellites as possible. This renders the system vulnerable in wartime to even a few anti-satellite weapons. SpaceX with its thousands of relay satellites has created a less secure but more resilient network. While Starlink may not be secure enough to handle sensitive military communications, it will almost certainly inspire a military-grade version down the road. That version will blend the security of existing military satellites with the coverage of Starlink, allowing it to survive the loss of dozens of satellites to enemy action. What weapons in the theater of operations in Ukraine surprised you the most? Leave your comments in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel.